What is a light year? Is it really as fast as we think? A light year is a unit of distance, even though it might sound like a unit of time. It's the distance a beam of light travels in a vacuum in one year. Light travels at 299,792,458 meters per second. Multiply that number by the number of seconds in a year, 31,557,600, and you get your answer. One light year is 9,460,730,473,000 kilometers, or 5 trillion 878,625,373,000 miles. To give you an idea of just how far this is, the moon, which took the Apollo astronauts four days to reach, is only one light second from Earth. Why do astronomers measure distance in light years? Familiar units like kilometers and miles are absurdly small for describing the vastness of the cosmos. Take the example of Proxima Centauri, the nearest star beyond the Sun. You could say that's 2,490,000,000,000 miles away. Or save a lot of breath and call the distance a tidy 4.24 light years. Most of the stars you see at night lie within a few hundred light years of Earth. The Milky Way galaxy in which we live happens to be a nice around 100,000 light years across. The Andromeda Galaxy is 2.54 million light years away, a big number, but still a whole lot more manageable than 14 quintillions, 900 quadrillion miles. Is a light year really as fast as we think it is? Light is the fastest thing we know. Think about how fast it seems when you turn on a light switch in your room and you see it instantly fill with the lights or when you shine a flashlight on something and the light immediately appears on whatever you're shining. It acts like it feels instant because of our scale. When you move out beyond our scale, the light gets slower and slower. Here's what I mean. Light on Earth seems really, really fast because the Earth is small enough place where light speed basically does mean the same thing as instant. But that all changes drastically when we zoom out just a little further away from the Earth and get out into the rest of the universe. Far from being instantaneous, it takes light 1.25 seconds to cover the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The light just keeps getting slower and slower the further we move away from Earth. The light emitted by the Sun will take 8 minutes to reach us, which means that the light we see now is a picture of the Sun 8 minutes ago. If you have a friend on Mars, it will take 22 minutes for that person to receive your message. The time it takes light to reach Jupiter from Earth is anywhere between 33 to 53 minutes. When you look at the Big Dipper, you're seeing what it looked like 80 years ago. And those smudgy galaxies, they're millions of light years away. It has taken millions of years for that light to reach us. But to be honest, how do we know how far away stars and galaxies are? After all, the view we have of the sky is flat and two-dimensional. How do astrophysicists determine a star's distance when you can't tell if you'll point your finger at it? Trigonometric parallax is a notion that can be used for objects that are very close to one another. The concept is quite basic. Let's conduct a test. Close your left eye while extending your thumb. Now, close your right eye and open your left one. It will appear as though your thumb has moved, but background elements farther away won't have changed. The same idea holds true when we observe the stars, but since the Earth isn't very large and distant stars are much, much further away than the length of your arm, we wouldn't notice much of a change in position even if we used different telescopes across the equator. Instead, we focus on the shift in the star's apparent location over a period of six months, which represents the midpoint of the Earth's 365-day orbit around the Sun. It's like gazing with your other eye when we compare the relative positions of the stars in the summer and again in the winter. In contrast to the more distant stars and galaxies, nearby stars appear to have shifted. However, this approach is limited to objects that are only a few thousand light years away. The distances outside our own galaxy are so large that even the most sophisticated detectors cannot detect the parallax. 
As a result, at this point, we must rely on alternative strategies using indications known as standard candles. Standard candles are items whose inherent luminosity or brightness, which are very familiar with it. For instance, if you ask a friend to hold your light bulb while they walk away from you, you know that the quantity of light you would receive from them will decrease by the square of the distance. So, you can determine how far away your friend is by comparing the quantity of light you receive to the inherent brightness of the light bulb. Our light bulb turns out to be a type of star known as a Cepheid variable in astronomy. These stars are internally unstable, like a balloon that is continually expanding and contracting. Additionally, as their brightness varies due to their expansion and contraction, we may determine their luminosity by determining the period of this cycle with more luminous stars changing more slowly. We may determine the distance between these stars by comparing the light they emit to the intrinsic brightness we determined in this manner. But the story is far from over, regrettably. Only up to 40 million light years distant can we view individual stars before they become too hazy to distinguish. But thankfully, we also have the well-known Type 1a supernova as a standard candle. One of the ways stars die is through supernovae, which are massive stellar explosions. The galaxies in which they take place are obscured by these explosions because they are so luminous. Consequently, supernovae may still be seen when they occur, even when they are unable to detect individual stars in a galaxy. Additionally, Type 1a supernovae are useful as standard candles since they lose their inherent brightness more slowly than fainter ones do. We can use these supernovae to measure distances up to billions of light years distance thanks to our knowledge of the correlation between brightness and decline rate. The universe itself, in some sense, is an inbuilt time machine. So, what if we could travel at the speed of light? Do you believe in time travel? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the latest knowledge about this magical world.